And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job, no casualties. There were more eyes on that town than there needed to be. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad. Who he thinks is locked up in high security and not, well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael Townley. The trainees write them. It's a good exercise. Yeah, the fuck. How'd that get started? A few years ago, a letter came to the federal prison system addressed to Brad. Wasn't signed, but it gave a P.O. box in Sandy Shores. I played the part of Brad, and we started a correspondence. Yeah, thanks for telling me, Davey. I was doing you a favor. Didn't think you'd want to know he was in the same state. Yeah, so now what? I just sit back and hope he doesn't figure it out? It's worked so far. He's a time bomb, Dave. And you fucking know it. Hey, man. Fuck. What do you want? I'm your friend. I don't want anything, man. Come on, your company's good enough, huh? Same as always. Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that. So... Family ain't back yet, huh? <laughs> nope. Oh, she's a goddamn fool, man. Despite all the chaos of these last few weeks, I think I finally figured it out. I know, no. sounds ridiculous. No, actually, it does not sound ridiculous, you know? Because you, you're a killer. You know, you are a man of action! You do not sit on couches, you take scores. You're back, man. We are back, all right? All we gotta go do is bust out Brad and then we're golden, man. Franklin, he makes us multicultural. Lester makes it cyber. We're like modern America. We just get ourselves a gay friend, bam. No, it's not it. I got money, it just makes you miserable. I wanna make movies. Great. It's great. And, uh, so where exactly does this leave me in the second act of your life? We're gonna do this last big job, and then we're gonna dissolve the partnership. This is not a game to me! All right, this is a fucking way of life. I got a fucking family! Yeah, well, I got nothing! No one gives a fuck about me! I do. Oh, fuck you! I saw your grave. I mourned you. And then it turns out that everything I fucking thought about you was wrong. Everything. You're not dead, and you're not a man. Well, what the fuck are you? I'm your fucking nightmare! Yeah, enough with your goddamn threats! I mean, let me just ask you something, all right? Something I've been, I've been thinking about. Up in North Yankton, exactly who was buried in your place? I never gave it any thought. You know what I'm thinking? I had no clue. You treacherous piece of shit! You're fucking dead. You're fucking dead! Fuck. Trevor! Hey! T! Ah, great! Fuck you! Hey, come on, where you going? You know where I'm going! Fuck you! You don't need to go all the way to North Gang to find out what I can tell you over a couple beers back in my house. Come on, we'll order pizza. Fuck you! Fuck your pizza, fuck everything it stands for! This is insanity! Oh, no. No, it's clear and reason thought. Finally! Come on, come back, we'll talk! Oh, I'm not gonna listen to another one of your lies! Hey, I'll lay it all out for you, everything. Just stop the car, turn around. I'm going up there to see it for myself. You'll be disappointed. <laughs> oh, 
Well, I'll be something. It'll be an anti-climax. The grave's empty. Just a bag of sand, something like that. Just smoke and mirrors. Oh, eyes! How do you do it, man? The game is up! I'm trying to save you a trip. You've done me enough favors, buddy, all right? Save your fucking breath! Trevor, come on! Fuck you, Michael! Soon enough, I will. Shit! Special Agent Norton. Shit. Davey. Shit, he knows. I think he knows. What? Who? I think. Shit. Shit, how? I don't know how. He used his head. But does he know? Does he know at all? Hey, he's on his way up to Ludendorff to confirm his suspicions. Shit. Then what? Then who fucking knows what? I don't know. I'm gonna go see if I can reason with him. But I come, but I, 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 I... Yeah, don't worry about it. This is between me and him. Besides, if it goes wrong up there, I'm sure you ain't far down his list. That's good to know. Trevor? It's great to, uh... There a plane I can use. Get me across country. Sure. Sure. We got one fueled up for a trip south of the border. I'm taking it. Is everything okay, man? Everything is not okay. Nothing has ever been okay, but I gotta see it for myself. I'm gonna see an old friend, all right? You're where I think you are, buddy. I don't know why I didn't see it. I guess, I guess I didn't want to. Fuck! Maybe I knew all along. I'm gonna find out for sure, and I'm gonna do something about it. There's always something wrong with that job. What went down after, I guess. I guess I wanted to believe fucking... Fucking play circus! Idiot, idiot! Idiot! I'm sorry, Trevor. I saw your face, I remember you. You get a thousand things every day. How about you make sure this is one of them? Come on! Ditch the car, all right? We can go this way to the chopper. No, hey, stick to the plan. What? Stick to the fucking plan. Come on. Out of here! Oh, Jesus! Oh, gee, you gotta get out of here! I'm gonna leave you, Mikey! Go! God, I'm not gonna be fucking gonna bleed out. Go! Go! Who you got here, huh? As if I need to ask. Tan Nan Yao, he's in Tao the Jichang, who won Tarana Banji. Woman Huggins. Listen, Amanda, we're going to move to Los Santos, start over. I made a deal. The slate will be totally wiped clean. Hey, everybody pay attention, no one gets hurt! Trust me, darling, look at me. Amanda, it was the only thing I could do. Either everyone dies, or one guy gets out. I'm that guy. Slow and steady, team. slow and steady. His name is Dave Norton, nice guy, realist. He gets the glory, I get out. 
It's not even a decision. Amanda, I don't have a choice. Do you want to die here where it's always snowing? Or do you want to go and live where it's always sunny? Hey, you want to live? Tell me you want to live. Work this out. out. Some depot out of town, you don't need to know. Trust me, nothing is going to go wrong. Nothing. Yeah, I hear you. We got to follow the plan and everything will work out. I did the deal, Amanda. It's over. Baby, we get out. Be happy. Be normal. It ain't supposed to go down like this. We did it. Baby, we are home free. It's over. This is fucked, man. The thing is blown. Just this one job and everything is done. Everything is done. Everything is done. <clears throat> Hey, you're wasting your time. Is that why you flew out here? Huh? Tell me I'm wasting my time? Go ahead, dig it up. I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's what you look like. The guy who doesn't give a shit? That's ridiculous. How long are you gonna keep lying for, Mikey, huh? When's it gonna stop? What happens in the dark? Comes out in the light. I'll oh, give it a rest, Trevor. There's nothing there. Uh, this is it. Moment of truth. I didn't know. Brad! Look, we do what we gotta do to survive. This thing, it didn't work out the way it was supposed to. Oh, and how was that, huh? With Brad in the can and me in the ground, or, 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 or both of us in the coffin? Brad got shot. You saw it. He didn't make it. I got shot, I did. That's, that's it. I think the only thing that didn't go as planned was me showing up on your doorstep 10 years later. Mikey, I mourned you. And I missed you. But I got a fucking family, Trevor. We were all gonna die. He did die. You reptilian motherfucker. I didn't want it to come to this. Yes, you did. You just don't have the fucking balls to do it. But I do. I got more to lose than you. Never a truer word has been spoken, brother. Now pull the fucking trigger. You ain't got the guts. Take the fucking shot! Who is that? Fuck! Fuck! Ah! Fuck! Ah! Joe Phillips! Mr. Cho has requested a word! Hey, ho, ho! I'm not the guy you're looking for! Hey, how's this event? How's this event? Get the boyfriend! Boyfriend? Motherfucker. So, who are your pals, Trevor? <laughs> And another van. <laughs> okay. We'll take you with us. Ah, you want a boyfriend, huh? Hey, can't we do this where the weather's better? Hey, you got the wrong guy. We could have teamed up! Hey, guys! You ever heard of Overkill? You're on ice, Rick! Good way! I ain't got anything against you people!
Me and Sam, we ain't friends no more! Come on. You're making a mistake! We have more fish in this thing. Give me that. Trevor. Fuck! Come on, I don't know. Oh, can't so? You got nowhere to go, boyfriend. All right, all right. Get out the fucking car. Trevor Phillips Industries. Mr. Phillips, this is Wei Chang. You know my eldest son, Tao. Yeah, the ex-nut. Backed out of a contract we agreed on. How is he? Still learning the ropes, thank you. My friends miss you in North Yankton. I was hoping we could talk. Ha! <laughs> was that your people? Ah, oh, of course. Sorry I had to cut out. Your operation causes problem for me. I want to expand into Blaine County. But your business and your temperament prevent me from making inroads. Oh, well, too bad. I don't know what you can do about that. I've already done something. We have your lover. Whoa, 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 whoa. My lover? Michael DeSanta. You live in your trailer together with the maid. And then you were alone in that big house. Well, you're clearly very close. You know, how much will you give up for his safety? <laughs> My lover! Yeah, right! It's a tough break. I never want to double-cross a friend and put him in danger, but you gotta do what you gotta do. My business ain't going anywhere. I'm serious about this. He will die. Tell him I love him dearly. Trevor Phillips Industries. Mr. Phillips, this is Wei Chang. You know my eldest son, Tao. Oh, yeah. Massive E-head. Backed out a contract we agreed on. How is he? Still learning the ropes, thank you. We've been watching you, Phillips. Your operations causes problems with our plans for expansion. And since you're not a viable business partner... Whoa, viable? What the fuck is that? We have your lover, Phillips. From the trailer. My lover? Yes. Michael DeSanta. You live with him with your maid. He's in our custody now. Give yourself up, and he will live. <laughs> okay. All right, yeah, yeah, no, of course, man. That's a, that's a tough break. Uh, look, you guys deserve each other. Hold on to that fat traitor, and feel free to torture him to your heart's content. You'll save me the trouble. Mr. Phillips, have you reconsidered? Mr. Cheng, lay it out for me again there, Bro Rice. What were the options? Forgo your interest in Blaine County, or never see your Mr. Dissenter again. Ooh, mm, my business or my boyfriend. Eey, yeah, that's tough. I guess I looked at that pretty face for the last time. We have delayed acting to give you a chance. Soon, it will be too late. Boss, hey! Let me ask you something, great unearther of conspiracies. Sure, shoot. Why didn't you see the big lie right under my nose? Michael fucking Townley. Is he Illuminati or Anunnaki? No! Oh, he's a lizard! Oh boy, I knew it. He's not a lizard. He's a liar and a cheat. I, I thought we knew that. Brad's dead. The letters! Written by the feds! Shit, the feds? What are you gonna do? Uh, I don't know. Got you for failing to figure this out? I'm thinking about it. Uncle T. Hey, kid. Tell me again about how much you hate your father. Hate him? I, I don't hate him. We didn't... Well, we don't get along all the time, but I kind of sort of realizing I love him despite him being such an asshole. <clears throat> Bullshit, kid! 
Have I taught you nothing? He is a heartless, selfish prick, and we both know it! T, you're scaring me. Look, please don't do anything, okay? Don't kill him, please. Please, 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 please! Oh, you know, you are his kid after all. Patricia, Mrs. Madrazo. Trevor, oh, I miss you. All you boys. I miss you too. I, c I can't speak for the other boys. You're such good friends. Uh, it's a bit more complicated than that. Actually, Michael and I, yeah, not speaking. Old friendships cannot be replaced. Hey, how are you? Is Martin looking after you? He's here. I've got to go. Hey, man, where that other dude? The dude that creeped on that dude. Michael, this creeping days are done. Well, what you mean? He stopped creeping? No more creeping for him. He, like, retired from, from creeping? From everything. That's funny, because, like, the boy Frank didn't mention shit about that. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know the dude. But considering the mutual acquaintances we got, I would have liked an invite to the retirement party. There weren't no party. No party? I used the term retirement euphemistically. Homie. For a dude that kills dudes, and eats dudes, and fuck dudes, you talk fruit. It's unconfirmed. What's unconfirmed? The fact that you talk stupid, or the fact that you do some messed up shit? Or, where the other dudes at? Like, maybe he's dead. The last one. Aw, oh, shit, man. Fuck! Do Frank know about this? I don't know if Franklin knows, but let's just let him sleep. Shit! Yeah, bummer. But, you know, he wasn't good guy he made out. That dude was a killer, a thief, a liar, and irritable as shit. Yeah, a liar. Above all else, a fucking liar. Homie, you sound like some bitch he ain't called. Like, oh, he lied to me. I am some bitch he didn't call for ten years. Fuck, man, he fucked you. The fucker got fucked. Damn. He fucked the fucker himself. Shut up. Man, the first time's always special. I hope he was gentle with you. Enough of that! And enough about me fucking. I don't do that. As a rule. Maybe when I got to LS, I was I was a little overwhelmed by the place. I got a little out of control. But that ain't who I am, for the most part. But the Michael fucked you. Yeah. The Michael fucked me. And the Michael fucked Brad. And the Michael ran off with the FIB. Brad? Who? Who the fuck is Brad? Brad is our boy back from the day. And Michael killed him? Michael got him killed. He died when Michael faked his death. I thought Michael died and Brad was in the pen, when actually Brad was in the ground and Michael was in hiding. And now Michael's dead and it's all okay? Michael's current condition is unconfirmed. I said that. But if he was dead, you'd be cool because of this Brad dude who died whenever. <sighs> yes. Man, I thought you and Michael were tight. So did I. Okay, that makes a lot of fucking sense. So, uh, tell me, man, how y'all end up meet? Michael introduced us. Me and Frank didn't exactly travel in similar circles. Nah, I mean the creeper. Michael? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you know. Sorry, if I don't want to reminisce. The wounds ain't healed. You such a delicate little old bitch, ain't you? Where your pussy at? What you got in there? Screw you. That's good. Let it out, homie. Go on, let it out. Vent. The turd was probably playing me from the start. Right, yeah. Probably. How you doing? Where? When? All right. All right! Fuck! I was running this small air freight outfit in North Yankton. A tiny operation. It's one beagle I could borrow when I needed it. We were kids. Kids with planes. So, this guy I know says there's this other guy needs some hot cargo moved across the border. Money's good, and I don't know enough to check references, so I'm in. A few days later, I'm waiting on the runway, and I see this dust coming up off the road. Only, it ain't one dust trail, it's two. I got told one guy in cargo. First car comes through the gate, stops, someone comes out. It's my age, just 20, kind of fat but strong underneath. Love at first sight. Yeah, something like that. Other car comes through the gate. Old guy falls out, starts yelling, waving his arms, and pointing at the kid. The dude that got Jack? Who fucking knows? 
Fat guys running, old guys shouting. I don't really care. I play peacemaker. Concerned citizen. I get close to the old guy and I pull out this flare gun I'm carrying around, squeeze the thing off in his eye. Shit. That was horrible. We had to pick up the body and dump it in a lake on the way. Thing was still burning in his head when we dropped him. Plane never smelt the same. Both of us threw up when we landed. It was quite a baptism. You ain't never clapped nobody before? Not really. Some deer, foxes, drifters, nothing serious. Ha! So that was like it? You and Michael rolling on through? Mas o menos. Michael didn't have the nerve back then. I didn't have the direction. Kinda worked. Until Michael got his nerve. Until he got it, and he lost it. But that's another story. Look, I love you, right? But I would've... I would've... Look, look, fucking... Look, man. Lester said you had some information for us about Michael. Michael? Fuck Michael! I hope he's dead. Man, I know y'all two, man. Come on, man. You two had beef before. But what the fuck happened in North Yankton? Somebody pinched him, man. Who? <sighs> My friend Ron met these Chinese assholes. They're from Yangshan in China. We had some problems. They mistakenly thought Michael was a human being and kidnapped him. Yeah, and now it looks like they're holding him somewhere in the city. Yes. Come on, bro. Well, go fuck yourself. You want that piece of shit? That's your fucking business, all right? He's dead to me, all right? And chances are, if and when I see him, he's gonna be dead to everyone else as well. Hey, come on, bro. Don't do that. You're pushing your luck, pal. What was that? What? What was that? Uh, nothing. Ah! Mm, asshole! Everybody! Assholes! <sighs> hey, it's me. What did Trevor say? Man, Mike was being held by a Chinese crew. Because of Trevor. The irony isn't lost. I'm sending you an app for your phone. Michael's cell just came back online. This will track its signal. It'll work better the closer you get. Be careful. Sure. I told you! He ain't my g -la. Don't try to persuade me, you're not lovers. He's laughing at you, you fucking idiot! You're making a mistake! It costs a lot of money to track you down. I had to call in every favor I could in the Midwest. And then you kill several good men. Good day, huh? Good day. Good fucking day to you! Kill him! Hey, Kevin hey, Phillips hey, isn't coming. Whoa, 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 whoa! No, hey, hey! Hey! Hey, I ain't even gonna make a tasty hamburger! I only drink broccoli juice! Is that it? We clear? Yeah, man, we clear! Fuck uh, me, man. What a scene that was. That's about the size of his shit. Yeah. Woo. Back there on that meat hook, I thought it was over. When the dude had the knife on me, man, I thought the same thing. Frank, thank you. Bro, you didn't have to. Yeah, bro, of course I did. If this shit means anything, shit, the second I knew. Hey, how'd you even find me? Lester sent me this app that tracked your sales sick. Ah, Lester. Hey, how'd you even know I got snatched up? Trevor told me. Kind of. I asked him what he knew about you disappearing in North Yankee. Yeah, I bet he wasn't that forthcoming, was he? Well, he told me in the end. How'd they pinch you anyway? Oh, shit. We're up there, and Trevor freaks the fuck out. He was about to kill me, Franklin. And then these Chinese guys show up, they take me, he fucks off. For real? Too real. Okay. Well, if you don't want to talk about that, how about Devin Weston? Weston? What about him? We delivered the last of them cars. Only he ain't paid us yet. Says he gonna invest the fucking money. Well, he's a clever guy. You know, that might not be such a bad idea. Are you fucking serious? Look, Franklin, you're gonna get your money, okay? From the sounds of it, you'll even get some interest, too. And I got this other deal with Weston down at the film studio. So we gotta wait for that to play out before I got any leverage over your deal. For real? Come on, Franklin. I've had my feet chained to a meat hook for the last few hours. Give me some time, I'll figure it out, I promise. Yeah, whatever. Fuck! Fuck indeed. Franklin, baby, I can't thank you enough. It's nothing. It's what friends do. Yeah, not all friends. From what I heard, yeah, maybe not. Yeah, you heard right. Fucking Trevor. Guy freaks the fuck out on me. We're up there in North Yankton, right? And he goes off on one. He's about to kill me, Franklin. 
when these Chinese guys show up out of nowhere. Then he runs, and the next thing I know, I'm back in Los Santos on a fucking meal. Yeah, you off the hook now? Yeah, thanks to you. Just run. Say, how'd you find me anyway? Did my family look for me? Nah, bro. I think... I think they still away. Me and Lester thought something was up. Then I spoke to Trevor, and he said the Chinese had you. Trevor told you? Shit, not willingly. But yeah, he told me. Go fucking figure. Man, he's angry at your ass. Way more than the normal middle-aged shit that y'all do. Yeah, well, if he wants to have it out, Franklin, I got news for you. He hey, knows where to fucking nice find car. me. I, I saved your ride? ass so you could kill one another? I thought we was in business together, the Union Depository. Yeah, that might have to wait, bud. You're all right, though. You got that car thing in the meantime. Actually, I don't got the car thing. We got the last ride, and Devin Weston stung us on the fucking pay. He putting it in an investment fund. Really? Yeah, really. What we gonna fucking do? Hey, look. An investment fund probably ain't the worst idea. I got this other thing with Weston down at the film studio. We wait to see how that plays out. And then we talk to him about your payment. Man, it sounds like I'm getting fucking screwed. We'll deal with it, Franklin. Jesus, I still feel like I'm hanging upside down from my ankles. Let me just adjust for a while, and I'll come up with a plan. Yeah, whatever, man. All right, then, I'll see you. For sure. Hey, you sure you don't want to come in? What, your big empty-ass house? Dog, I'm depressed enough already. All right, well, listen, thanks. Look, man, before you go, what the fuck happened up there? I said, Trevor went crazy, tried to kill me, I got jumped by the Chinese. Man, before all that, I'm talking about the Fez, Trevor, this guy Brad, man. I know what you meant. All right, look, I made a judgment call. I don't know if it was the right one. I did what I thought I had to do. I had a young family, Franklin. I was running with a crew of crazy motherfuckers with nothing to lose. I saw an out. A future for me, for my family. I took it. You took it? Man, you burned every motherfucker you've ever known. It was that or die. <sighs> Look, I know it sounds cold. I don't expect you to understand it. Not yet, but you will. When you got ties of your own. Look, you wake up one day, and, and your legs, they just give. You just can't run anymore. All right, man, look. You watch your back, all right? When Trevor finds out you're still alive, I don't know what the fuck he gonna do. Don't worry about Trevor. He's not gonna get near me. Hey, you watch your back. You hear me? Dog, it ain't me he coming for. We straight. It's you, dog. It's you. I'm just saying. You revolt me, you know that? You're a snake, tell me. You know, it was a long time ago. You should really move on. Oh, it's easy to move on when you move into a mansion. You don't want a mansion, T. Come on. You want an excuse to do whatever the fuck you want. I see you again, I'll do whatever I want to your face. Yeah, sure, bro. Take it easy. Mr. Chang. Mr. Phillips. I hear your lover left us. Yeah. What's with that? I thought you were gonna get rid of him for me. More of my men die, Mr. Phillips. I have put them on your account. You will soon have to pay. No, oh, well, I'm good for it, pal. You know where to find me. Oh, Jesus. What about you? Oh. Pocket, Trevor. We're having some problems. Brad. Yeah, what else? Yeah, so anyway, the Union Depository is on hold for now. We can't do it without him, especially now that he knows. Feels weird not having Trevor on the stick. Feels okay to me. He might be a better pilot, but I'm less inclined to kill you in your sleep. Gee, that ain't what he says. Okay, 
I'm less inclined to stab you in the face and then do funny things to your corpse. That sounds about right. I mean, we did everything. We're all in this together, right? So as long as we all are not together, there's nothing they can really do to us. All right, see you, dog. Take care. Then it's Trevor and I'm out. Oh, we're gonna need Trevor. Maybe you should give him a call now. Oh, fuck that. After I take care of this shit. All right, all right, well, take care of yourself. Put the gun down, gentlemen. Who the fuck are they? The fucking Merriweather. What are they doing here? Steve, put your gun down. Oh, same goddamn leg. Go! Fuck! Bullshit. Mike, this is your frequency. Let's free go. Go. I ain't going anywhere, Davy, until some more of these guys kill each other. What happened to Haynes? Did he get caught in the crossfire? Don't worry about Haynes. Haynes went the other way. He's probably out. We gotta think of ourselves. Thanks. I'm moving. I'll meet you in the courtyard by that fountain. Fuck! You're gonna die! here for the opportunity. Now run! Touching reunion and all, but I'm about to get jumped by a team of rogue agents. T, you got the vantage point. Give Dave a hand. This is the guy who iced Brad and would ice me? I'd be better off putting my sights on him. Haynes made it out of here, and there's another group of agents looking into our shit. Right now, you're not in the position to let our only friend in the bureau get killed. It looks like there's a Run for that stone bench by the pool. I'll come join you. Don't mind me. Shit show! I thought you were the corrupt division! Corrupt? Only a little. Definitely below average. I'm between the fountain and the reflecting pool. Come on! Merriweather, at war in the USA. I don't feel like you're contributing, Trevor! What happens to Haynes? Norton gonna pop him at the water cooler on Monday? But I'm not popping Steve. Jesus. I'll get close to him and I'll try to control him. That's if we get out of here alive. Mike, come on! Final push to me! Let's regroup! What are Merriweather doing at this party? You tell me. You're the one hitting their planes, trains, and boats. Just trying to earn a dime. Well, your dime put us on their radar, and I don't know how we're gonna get off it. Wait! Stay there! Is this cost of the taxpayer? <laughs> this kind of action on U.S. soil is why you shouldn't be operating. They're done. I gotta get out before someone clocks my chopper. Hey, thanks, T. This is our shot. I'm making a run for the parking lot. Get clear or we'll talk. This many bodies, there'll be cars in the lot. Put as much dirt between you and this place as you can. And do not contact me until you're absolutely sure you're clear. This one's mine. Good luck. Mike, that's why you disappeared. We need to have a conversation. So conversate. Not here. Meet me behind the pawn shop in morning one. Well, that was fun. Are you doing smoking, huh? No, 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 that's bad for you, don't you know, huh? Yeah, well, maybe it's got a little something to do with being caught in the middle of a three-way firefight between two government agencies and a private militia. You know, it gets me a little stressed out. Okay, but we still need you alive, Mikey boy. I mean, you know, at least for now. Unless, of course, you have another surprise for me. 
Huh? Maybe something to do with another inappropriate friendship? Yeah, that wasn't exactly Dave's fault. No, no, no. He's just the friendly face of a corrupt government agency looking to further his career by dealing with an equally corrupt and full to the fucking brim with bullshit low rent hood. Listen, Trevor. Listen, I've been meaning. Uh, you know, I've been meaning. I've been meaning to tell you. You know, I've been. What, homie? What have you been meaning to tell me, huh? That you stabbed me in the back. Or that you were, and always will be, a worthless wretch who deserves to be put under. Yeah, well, no, what Clear the fuck did you come back for? Oh, you know why. Ah, oh, no, no, no. One last score. Mm-hmm. And if it goes good, <laughs> guess what? I don't have to put a little bullet in your head. But if it goes bad, well, that's okay, too. Because then you and I get to go to hell. And I get to spend the rest of eternity with you tormenting you. Well, I guess it's on then. Yeah, I guess it is. Call Lester, let's go. On speakerphone. Hey, it's me. I know, how'd it go? Just fabulous. Ran into an old friend. Matter of fact, he saved my ass. Oh, we're all friends now. Suppose a group hug's out of the question? <laughs> he wants to, uh, still go on the final victory tour. All right, when it looks like it's a go, I'll contact you. And remember this, gentlemen. If we pull this off, we will be making history. Sordid, nasty, depraved history. But history, nonetheless. All right. There. You happy? Fucking thrilled. Don't forget, amigo. Keep my eye on you. Yeah. Franklin, what's up? Hey, man. I'm in a bit of a bad situation. My boy Lamar got set up. I think he up near Polito Bay at some sawmill with some ballers. Could you, like, do some computer magic and look into it? Is that possible at all? Uh, should be. I've got a back door into the Polito Bay police network left over from the score we did up there. Uh, give me a second here. Uh, hold on. Uh, uh, yes. So what it say? Huh. Uh, this must be it. Uh, there are older reports of a weed operation being run by an African-American gang. The files got buried, so I'm guessing they paid off the cops. They growing weed up there? Growing it in the hills, most likely, but they might be packing and shipping it out of this sawmill. I'd expect a fair few of them up there. Shit. Then I'm gonna need some help. Can you tell Mike and Trevor to meet me up there? They still aren't getting along that well. Tell them it's for me, and it's serious. Thanks, man. Hey, hey, hey. Why'd you invite this stoolie, huh? We want Lamar to be rescued, not sold to the feds. Give it a rest, asswipe. Man, what y'all two shut the fuck up? Now let's take a look at this place, man. Lester said this was some type of big weed store spot. Place is crawling with ballas, you know? Now me and you, we don't mind the old gang warfare, but suede bucks over there. <laughs> yeah, tell Trevor I said bite me. Man, I said shut up. Now I see the weed, but where the fuck is Lamar? Oh, shit, there he go. You know what? Tell Trevor I'm gonna be up on this hill with my rifle. I don't want to be anywhere around him when he fucks this whole thing up. Classic. Classic, huh? He's already planning his escape. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna find a way in. Don't shoot and don't get too close. We don't want him to know we're here until we want him to know we're here. Ah, uh, okay. You're the expert in springing attacks on the unsuspecting. I got this bulldozer should make an impact. Hey, I'm gonna get in position. Hey, I got a good vantage. I'll see what I can do up here when the time comes. We might stand a better chance if we come at him from two angles. Maybe. You wanna stay close? I don't blame you. Frank, we'll attack on your signal. Let's go find the dude. Laying down fire! Lamar's waiting, brother! Come on! What the hell? Hey, that ball is packing a rocket launch! Mike! We need to take this guy out! Can you see him? Take him! Take him down, Mike! I got him! Sorry, asshole! Sniper fire!
There's another dude in the bushes. Hey, hold it. Get off your fat ass and do some shooting, pork chop. Come on, come on. I only got so many bullets. Done yet, homie. Not yet. Nearly. Man, what the fuck y'all want me to do? Kill the president? Fuck his wife or something? Or invade some fucking country? No, no. Something more sensible. Something that's gotta be done. Hey, when the timing's right, you're gonna take old Trevor and put him out to pasture, homie. Michael will be sensible, but Trevor... Trevor won't be. Trevor is a liability that none of us can afford. Man, Trevor saved you. He saved both y'all asses. And it's unfortunate. Hey, when we give you the word, you're gonna do this thing. Man, get Michael to do it. Me and Trevor cool, dawg. Michael can't do it. Trevor won't let him near. That's why it's up to you, homie. You made it. Good. I saved you again, Davey. Again. So what are you gonna do for me about Haynes, the rest of the FIB, the IAA, and everyone else, huh? History's written by the living, okay? We can pin most of it on Agent Sanchez. I get that story right and the agency and bureau will back off. The problem we need to deal with is Trevor. Trevor? Why? Try Merriweather, Chinese gangsters, general insanity, and so on. I can spin Steve that you're controllable, but not Trevor. Steve. He's our wounded hero right now. I gotta cozy up to him, calm him down. Just get me out. <laughs> 